Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And as my usual disclaimer, I am no stock expert. I'm no financial expert. So don't go and buy and sell your stock based on anything that I say. So we have something interesting that's transpiring at very at a very small scale. But I wanted to update you guys on this anyway. So there have been a few third party analyst firms that are sending back letters to investors that they're getting ready to downgrade T-Mobile stock. So in this case, we have another third party, T-Mobile lowered to peer perform at Wolf Research. So I'll just read this off here very briefly. T-Mobile US was downgraded by investment analysts at Wolf Research from an outperform rating to a peer perform rating in a note issued to investors on Tuesday. So my thinking behind this is, and I've voiced my opinion about this in several other videos that you've heard me, T-Mobile has plenty, 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 plenty runway left on growth, right? They've been a pure mobile wireless operator this entire time. And in a lot of the segments that they compete in, they're a single digit player in share. It's not even close. Like, you know, comparing enterprise and, and, and that segment, Verizon and AT&T have like 94, 95% uh, share in that space. T-Mobile has huge runway to grow. And at first, when all these analyst firms came out and they were like, oh, T-Mobile's a 200 all stock, they're outperforming. At that time, I was kind of a bit confused. I felt like it was overvalued. It was not fully justi justified by them. But then I started looking into the numbers. I started looking at the, the share that they have in those segments. And I'm like, yeah, this is T-Mobile is really going to outperform because of all the growth that they can still obtain after the Sprint merger. The Sprint merger mainly helped T-Mobile grow share in a little bit of rural, right? Small rural towns. They grew it a little bit there, but mostly it was suburban and, 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 and urban share that they gained from Sprint which that's where T-Mobile was already fairly successful in on its own. So now with the assets of Sprint, right? Tower sites, Spectrum, they're trying to go after the other segments that I discussed in that video, right? Small town, rural areas, business, small business, enterprise, 55 and over, military, and so on and so forth. They're trying to go after that business segment. And they're a very low share player in, the, in, in that today. And they will continue growing that throughout the year, right? They got to 260 million pops covered with 2.5. They're going to reap the benefits from that deployment this year, right? Because it takes time. You get into a new town with 2.5, you got you to uh, change perception. You got to work on marketing. You got to attack it uh, from a regional perspective. You got to bring retail distribution. So that has, to, that has to happen first. So you're not, you know, you're not all of a sudden just going to, hey, I'm here and all the customers are there. That, that doesn't work like that. They have to grow the base there. So that's going to that's gonna take time, right? So that happens this year if, if they can maintain solid growth, right? That happens this year. And that also includes fixed wireless access. They will continue growing that. That is not going to slow down. To get, for them to get to 7 to 8 million by 2025, the math is fairly simple. They have to grow uh, right around 2 million plus a year, give or take. So they're going to continue doing that. So everything else is, is kind of falling in place, you know, just based on the network investment T-Mobile has done, the aggressive marketing, the aggressive uh, promotions, and the aggressive build out on the retail distribution where they already had footprint. So I'm very confused and interested as to why this is happening. Want to see if this happens with other more notable firms. Uh, like uh, UBS and, and some of the bigger ones. I want to see that. And if that does happen, I will be looking into or, or at least reading in detail as to why they're moving this direction. I, you know, the $200 price target on the stock, I don't know if that was fully justified to begin with. But looking at T-Mobile's upside, it is insane of how much upside they have as a company while already being as big as they are. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading your comments. 
Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.